and uh, encourage uh, uh, quick recovery. We have with us Mr. Wang Bing from the Ministry of Commerce, Director Gen uh, Deputy Director General Wang Shiyu from the Policy and the Regulations Department of the State Administration of Taxation, and uh, uh, Madam Ma Ji Hong from the China Co-op, and uh, they will take questions concerning the innovation of the business models and uh, the recovery of the uh, work and uh, life. Now let me give you the updates of the pandemic. Yesterday, China's mainland reported that for newly increased confirmed cases, 54, all of them are imported cases. New fatal cases, three, all of them in Hubei. And new suspected cases, 29. Yesterday, the newly increased cured and discharged cases, 383. 758 close contacts are removed from medical observation, and the number of severe cases dropped by 113. By the end of yesterday, the municipalities, provinces, and uh, Xinjiang Production and Construction Corp reported that the remaining confirmed cases numbered 3,128, including 921 severe cases. In accumulative terms, there have been 74,971 cases cured and discharged from hospitals, 3,295 fatal cases, and 81,394 confirmed cases. The remaining suspected cases numbered 184. In accumulative terms, close contacts traced numbered 699,396 close contacts still under medical observation, 17,198. In Hubei, yesterday, there is no new confirmed suspected or remaining suspected cases. For new confirmed cases and uh, uh, cured discharged cases, uh, that number is 367, including 360 in Wuhan. New fatal cases, three, or in Wuhan. The remaining confirmed cases, 2,526, including 2,517 in Wuhan. Among these cases, there are 886 severe cases, including 882 in Wuhan. In accumulative terms, there are 62,098 cases cured and discharged from hospitals, including 44,951 in Wuhan. In accumulative terms, there have been 3,177 fatal cases, including 2,538 in Wuhan. Confirmed cases totaled 67,801, including 50,006 in Wuhan. Yesterday, between 0 and 24 o'clock, the newly increased overseas imported cases numbered 54, including 17 in Shanghai, 11 in Guangdong, 6 in Fujian, 5 in Tianjin, 4 in Zhejiang, 3 in Beijing, 3 in Liaoning, 2 in Inner Mongolia, 2 in Inner Mon uh, Jilin, and 1 in Shandong. By the end of yesterday, Altogether, there have been 649 confirmed cases reported uh, from overseas. In accumulative terms, we have received 819 cases res uh, confirmed and uh, reported from Hong Kong, Macau, and Taiwan, including 518 from Hong Kong SAR, 34 from Macau SAR, and uh, 267 from the Taiwan region. Yesterday, the mainland China confirmed 54 cases, all of them are imported cases. 20 provinces and uh, the Xinjiang Production uh, Corporation have had uh, for 28 days, and uh, uh, six provinces had uh, 14 days in a row, uh, had not reported any suspected cases or confirmed cases. According to WHO report, um, globally there have been 500,000 cases confirmed and reported. So the localities in China are requested to 
strictly implement the containment measures and guard against the potential importation of the pandemic. Now we will have the Q&A and please focus on today's topic and put forward your questions. Please first identify yourself. Now the floor is open. First question on the right on the front row, uh, the reporter close to the aisle, please. Thank you. Uh, with the CCTV financial channel, on March the 27th, the standing committee meeting of the CPC mentioned that uh, we should release the potential of domestic consumption. So how about the current situation? And also, as the situation is improving in terms of a pandemic control, uh, what are the challenges remaining for the work and uh, production recovery? We will have uh, Mr. Wang Bing to answer the question. Thank you for your question. Since the outbreak of COVID-19 for circulation and uh, consumption in the short term, indeed, there had been some major shock and uh, uh, we found the consumption capacity uh, is being dented. However, the CPC Central Committee and the State Council made uh, arrangements to address these challenges. President Xi Jinping guided that uh, we should adopt an orderly manner to encourage the recovery of consumption and uh, help the consumption potential to release. Premier Li Keqiang pointed out that we should take active approaches to encourage the recovery of production and uh, the uh, normal life. Now the governments at all levels are implementing the relevant measures and we can see the situation is improving. For instance, the overall market supply is adequate and uh, the market prices are uh, being stabilized with uh, some slight uh, decrease and uh, the major or the big supermarkets and uh, shopping malls in general have recovered their business. By the end of yesterday, the um, farmers' markets resumption rate uh, exceeded 98%, while the uh, shops have uh, been resumed for operation for 90, over 93%. And we can see the trading volume uh, has been 50% more than the early uh, March. Also, uh, we can see the marketing or the sales have already uh, exceeded that of last year. All the online uh, platforms are now in full operation. Um, the resumption rate is fifty uh, is eighty five point four percent, forty percentage points higher than the second part of uh, February for uh, the shopping uh, malls and uh, the department stores. The sales volume is about fifty percent of that of last year for. Uh, restaurants and uh, housekeeping businesses, their uh, resumption rates are 80% and 60% respectively, while the sales volume is about 35% of that of last year. Since the early March, the uh, daily necessities prices uh, have uh, dropped and uh, on March the 27th, the wholesale price of vegetables has been 16.5% lower than the peak in February. And uh, for uh, pork, uh, it has been dropped by 37.5%. And uh, uh, for the mid-March data concerning the sales of the uh, goods, we can see that uh, it is also improving. Uh, quite a lot compared with that of uh, mid-February. At the moment, uh, the major outstanding challenges are that uh, there's a still quite slow recovery in terms of uh, the consumption potential. People still have their fears and they are very cautious in consumption. Logistic companies have resumed their business. However, the sales among logistic players have been various. Uh, beauty salons, the electric household appliances of maintenance, and uh, the street vendors, kiosks, 
and some uh, smaller businesses have seen a low rate of uh, resumption. Cross-province migrant worker workflow are still faced with certain restrictions. The seeding or lockdown approach of uh, certain communities forbid the entry of uh, home-making uh, industry staff or the logistic or express delivery staff. Some businesses say they are still in shortage of funds, they are understaffed, and the cost of labor has been under rise. But we believe under the firm leadership of uh, the Party Central Committee and the State Council, as we are seeing, the trend is towards the positive with the implementation of policies. The commodity circulation and the commercial order can be restored to the normal order earlier or sooner rather than later. Thank you. Next question, please. Thank you. Hong Kong uh, China Review. In the commodity and the service sector, many uh, SMEs impacted heavily by the epidemic. epidemic. What are the taxation policies adopted by government to support the SME's development in the commodity sector? I'd like to ask DDG Wang Shiyu to take the question. The small vendors are interlinked with uh, the overall economy. They are providing job opportunities. They are providing convenience to the general public. And they are risk vulnerable. As you've uh, rightly mentioned, they are heavily impacted by the epidemic. The Taxation Authority concerns itself with helping these uh, SMEs to go through the rough patch. We've adopted four arrays of uh, favorable taxation policies. And many are targeted as uh, the small vendors, including catering, uh, hospitality, and beauty salons, and other life convenience businesses. Their VAT tax will be exempted for a certain period, in particular catering, hospitality businesses. The annual loss period has extended from five years to eight years in the carryover uh, accounting. The small vendors usually have uh, an annual revenue of uh, less than 5 million RMB. It uh, was uh, explicitly policy designed that uh, in Hubei province, these uh, small scale businesses will be exempted from VAT taxes. And in other provinces, their VAT rate has been decreased from 3% to 1%. Many of the small businesses enjoy even more handsome favorable policies. Apart from last year's tax reduction and commission reduction, there are also some other favorable policies for the businesses with annual income of lower than 100,000 and quarterly income of lower than 300,000 will be exempted from VAT. In the future, Taxation Authority will follow the guidance from the State Council and Party Central Committee and adopt a solid efforts to ensure that the real benefits can reach the small businesses. Thank you. Next question, please. Journalist from the second row on the left side. And with China Media Group, CCTV, Premier Li Keqiang emphasized the expansion of a consumption network in community residents. What are the measures adopted by All China Federation of Supply and Marketing Cooperatives to innovate such development? I'd like to ask DDG Ma Jihong to take the question. The Federation of Supply and the Marketing Cooperatives links the supply and the demand. We will follow the guidance from the central government to innovate business models, build modern logistic and service network. We will focus on three jobs first, carry on the role of a supply and a marketing cooperative that have been demonstrated in the epidemic response. Hubei Provincial Cooperative used the existing network and established emergency stockpiling in a county level covering all the provincial counties. This uh, 
uh, stockpiling stations have connected supply and demand underscores the comprehensive role played by county-level cooperatives. Wuhan City Cooperative has uh, established a, a commando for supporting the community needs. They have uh, been working with the e-commerce platforms and uh, covered 30,000 plus households in Wuhan. They have uh, become one of the major channels for the group purchase by city residents. Second, we will facilitate, facilitate the code chain development by collaboration and the sharing of facilities and integration of industries. We will also step up uh, the upgrading of uh, the wet or fresh markets, effectively improve cooperatives' intensive and uh, modernized operation so as to ensure the abundance in the veggie baskets and the food safety. Third, we will give a play to the role of uh, online businesses and the platform of uh, sharing. The brick and mortar stores of uh, cooperatives will come in combination with online development promote uh, the industry products to go to rural areas and the rural agricultural produce to go to cities so as to play the full role of uh, cooperatives. Thank you. Next question, please. Thank you. Uh, Hong Kong Business News. Many self-employed business and uh, SMEs have uh, complained about the rental fees, but they cannot force the landlords to reduce the rent rents. So they hope uh, the landlords can be exempted uh, from uh, um, a certain fees so that they can in turn reduce rents. I'd like to ask DDG Wang Shi Yu to take the question. Well, we've already adopted similar policies to help businesses weather the epidemic and restore their business. We've conducted some thematic surveys. Many business owners have reflected that the rent has been the majority part of the cost. There has been the call from the public for reducing rents. On 25th of February, Premier Li Keqiang chaired the uh, standing committee meeting of the state council and encouraged the landlords to reduce the property rents for the tenants. Following this uh, guidance, many provinces and municipalities have adopted measures to exempt fees or reduce uh, taxes on the landlords and they have uh, streamlined the procedures to make it more convenient for the tax reduction, including the land property um, taxes, so that the landlords will be incentivized to voluntarily reduce rents. Thank you. Next question, please. Journalist from the fourth row on the right side. Hong Kong Economic Herald. During the epidemic response, the e-commerce players have uh, been very active in providing the needs of uh, the general public. However, some farmers said they are disconnected from the network and uh, they don't know how to use the e-commerce platform. How did the government help? I'd like to ask DG Wang Bin to take the question. Thank you for your concern of uh, the farmers. Premier Xi, uh, President Xi Jinping has uh, emphasized it is important for us to leverage modern technology, give play to e-commerce businesses, and uh, encourage talents to go to rural areas and ensure technologies benefit farmers. On the standing committee meeting, it was signaled that e-commerce should be strengthened to benefit farmers. Ministry of Commerce has been collaborating with the poverty alleviation committees to popularize e-commerce in uh, rural areas. 1,000 plus counties have got the help. 
So all the national level poverty stricken counties are covered during the pandemic containment. Many people have utilized the e-commerce platforms to provide the channels for uh, materials delivery and the procurement. Many people have used uh, the e-commerce platforms to offset the negative impact on uh, trading. And the e-commerce platforms have played a very important role to facilitate uh, the goods movement and uh, satisfy the various needs in particular in rural areas. As you can see, these uh, e-commerce platforms have encouraged the uh, economic uh, recovery and uh, generated income for the farmers. For the year 2019, the e-commerce uh, sales uh, was uh, 1.5 times of that of uh, 2016. In rural areas, the courier delivery represented over 20% of the national total. Up to now, there have been more than 10 million rural uh, e-commerce uh, entrepreneurs and uh, created quite a lot of uh, job opportunities for people in rural areas. Furthermore, the financial incentives are also offered by the central government. But just now you mentioned that uh, there might be still outstanding challenges in terms of uh, the e-commerce uh, trading and uh, uh, delivery especially in rural areas. So for the next step, we will focus on the following four aspects. First, we will strengthen the capacity training for the rural e-commerce. We will engage the stakeholders to conduct relevant trainings related with uh, the e-commerce. The People who have some practical experience or who plan to return to their hometown to start their e-commerce businesses, they can join such uh, training programs. And uh, second, we will improve uh, the rural circulation system. We will consolidate the existing resources of uh, um, express delivery and uh, the stakeholders are encouraged uh, to serve the grassroots and uh, ensure the last mile is well covered. And thirdly, we will strengthen infrastructure in rural areas. The household-based uh, processing and uh, uh, packaging of uh, the farm products will be encouraged and uh, supported. The relevant uh, warehouses and uh, delivery or distribution centers will be established. And fourthly, and the rural markets and uh, uh, trading places will be improved so that uh, farmers will have access, a better access to the industrial goods and uh, they can build their own brands and uh, have their retail businesses more prosperous. Thank you. Thank you. Let's continue the Q&A. On the right, on the third row, the reporter in black, please. Thank you. Uh, with the business observation news affected by the pandemic, many businesses found their cash flow uh, in big trouble. And uh, the question is, for the taxation authorities, do you have any uh, supportive measures for businesses? And we will have Mr. Wang Shiyu to answer the question. Yes, indeed. the problem you have mentioned is existing. 
as I have said, to support economic growth and uh, recovery. The CPC Central Committee and the State Council have worked out a series of policies to reduce the burden on the businesses. For the taxation authorities, we make every effort to help the companies to be relieved from such pressure. For three times, we have uh, decided to postpone the taxation period and uh, uh, for Hubei province in particular, such taxation deadline was postponed uh, to March the uh, 6th and also if people can provide adequate uh, experience, I mean, um, e explanation, um, they can be exempted from the uh, taxation fines for delayed payment and also other measures adopted to support the businesses. For the March declaration period is also postponed. And once the deadline is due, and in case the epidemic is still going on, then the relevant uh, stakeholders can make declaration to the taxation authorities, and uh, they can enjoy various uh, preferential treatment to be relieved from the uh, cash flow pressure. Okay, let's continue. On the right, the fifth row, the first lady reporter, please. Thank you. Uh, with uh, China household news, Hubei is an important producer of uh, tea in China. It is learned that caused by the pandemic, um, the tea leaf pick and uh, transportation are affected. So what are the measures adopted to address this problem? We will have uh, Madam Ma Jiho to answer the question. Thank you. Indeed, tea is an important part of uh, uh, China's uh, uh, foreign trade. And we also have uh, trade associations like the Tea Association, which, is, which are quite famous in the world. The Hubei Tea Association adopts four measures to help the local tea farmers. First, the tea association directly engages itself in the sales of tea. On March the 9th, with the online advertisement and the promotion campaign, the tea association directly sold a lot of uh, uh, tea products online. And the second, uh, it has uh, set up an online platform covering 263 tea companies, as well as uh, more than 180 poverty-stricken counties in the province. Thirdly, it has encouraged the member enterprises to increase their uh, procurement from Hubei province. For example, uh, 600 tons of uh, tea has been procured by one member of the trade association. The uh, vice chair company of the tea association has also signed a procurement agreement with the local tea farmers. The fourth approach is that the, trade, uh, the tea association set up a public good or for public benefit uh, initiative. They have uh, this initiative has a signed agreement with the relevant producers and the stakeholders. They also cover different business segments, including mushrooms and uh, fruits, dried fruits. 
cooperatives pay special attention to the roles of these uh, associations, and uh, we've uh, advocated uh, through these associations to the companies to resume their businesses and uh, support relevant uh, sectors in Hubei province. In the future, we will continue to pay attention to the sales difficulty in Hubei's commodities, tea included. We will leverage the principle and the mindset of uh, mutual help in cooperatives. It is incumbent on us to serve uh, the rural players in Hubei province. Next question, please. Thank you. With the uh, uh, National Business Daily, some manufacturers have uh, allocated supplies to ensure the normal daily life of the general public and stabilize market uh, prices. Are there any favorable taxes for such manufacturers? I'd like to ask DDG Wang Shiyu to take the question. Thank you for your question. During the epidemic response, the production and allocation of supplies are important linchpins in our response. According to the deployment of uh, the State Council and the Party Central Committee, State Taxation Administration has adopted four arrays of uh, favorable policies. And there are policies targeted at uh, the assurance manufacturers, as you've mentioned. The VAT taxes can have uh, certain set-offs on a monthly basis. They can apply for the full return of the paid VATs. Second, for the newly acquired uh, equipments, they can be deducted uh, from the uh, overall amount before the VAT tax is exempted so as to facilitate their acceleration of manufacturing. Third, the transportation income by transporting these supplies will be exempt from VATs. The city construction tax will also be exempted. Fourth, the public transportation services will also have a tax exemption. This uh, epidemic has uh, impacted on uh, many fronts of uh, the general public. Transportation services and uh, express delivery services have a close bearing on the life of the general public. State taxation and administration has made it clear that for such services, the revenue will be exempted from VAT tax and the city construction taxes. Thank you. Next question, please. Journalist from the fifth row on the left side. A journalist in black. I'm from Economic Daily. I have a question related to the automobile industry. Impacted by the pandemic, there has been a um, sharp decrease in the sales of uh, automobiles. Are there any policies to revitalize the consumption of automobiles? I'd like to ask DG Wang, being from Ministry of Commerce, to take the question. Thank you for your question. Automobile industry is a strategic and a pillar industry for national economy. There is a big potential for the automobile industry, and it can drive consumption on many fronts. It is a major component of upgraded consumption. Impacted by multiple factors since 2018, we've seen a decrease of automobile consumption. The pandemic has exerted major impact on the industry. In the first two months, Automobile consumption saw a decrease of 37 percent. The State Council paid great attention to the issue at the Political Bureau Standing Committee meeting. President Xi Jinping emphasized it is important for us to stabilize uh, commodity consumption, automobile included. Since 2013, the Central government has adopted an array of uh, measures to stabilize consumption of automobiles and promote the upgrading and the restructuring. These policies are on eight fronts. First, shift the restricted uh, consumption to the encouragement of consumption. Second, uh, encourage uh, the purchase and use of uh, new energy vehicles. Third, um, 
cancel the restricted uh, policies on the second use vehicles. Uh, fourth, encourage uh, the replacement uh, of the old generation vehicles. Uh, fourth, uh, promote uh, the upgrading of consumption in rural areas. Seventh, uh, cancel the restriction on the pickup trucks entry into cities. Eighth, establish more parks and charging piles for the new energy vehicles and uh, other policies as well. Local governments have uh, been earnestly following these uh, principles, uh, adopted policies of uh, subsidy for the purchase of new vehicles and uh, some sales promotion activities. The automobile industry involves a long supply chain. It uh, involves a, a long designing cycle with uh, the participation of multiple stakeholders. The promotion of uh, automobile consumption is a systematic, uh, complicated job. We need to address the issue from uh, the entire life cycle of uh, automobile industry in manufacturing consumption and uh, circulation. We should strike a balance between the development of the industry and economic development and environmental protection. We should have uh, some uh, common consensus, unite our ideas, and uh, forge comprehensive and feasible policies to stabilize and upgrade automobile consumption is conducive in fostering a very strong domestic automobile market. Thank you. Next question, please. Journalist from the second row on the right side. With China Daily, to help businesses to go through the difficulties and accelerate the resumption of the businesses, what are the favorable policies adopted by the central government to benefit logistic companies? Are they enjoying the real benefits? Thank you. I'd like to again ask DJ Wang Bin to take the question. Logistic industry involves 80 million plus enterprises and provided jobs for 20 million, uh, catering, hospitality, and uh, commodity services. It, they also have a close bearing with uh, the old age, the caring, education, and the logistic. So they have a direct bearing on the livelihood. E-commerce platform, the large franchised stores and community shopping or convenience stores have been developing rapidly, played a major role in stabilized prices and satisfying the needs of uh, the general public. Since the outbreak of the epidemic, uh, commodity businesses uh, have uh, been dampened. Apart from the provision of uh, daily necessities, many other commodities uh, have uh, saw a sudden decrease of uh, their sales. Some commodity businesses involved uh, poor operation and difficult operation of 60 million uh, small stores. The central government has uh, adopted an array of uh, bidding out policies, which can be summarized into four categories. First, on the front of uh, physical and taxation policies, just as uh, DDG Wang Shi Yu from the State Taxation Administration has already elaborated, which I would like to make some additional remark on, was that uh, VAT taxes uh, have uh, been exempted uh, on the small-scale tax uh, payers and decreased uh, from uh, the 5%, 3% to 1% for the first uh, two months. And the VAT taxes were exempted uh, on the Hubei um, small taxpayers. For the catering and the hospitality industries, the 2020 loss can be carried over from the past five years to the current eight years. The vocational training has been stepped up. And the tax application period has been extended. Contactless online taxation procedures have been adopted. Second, on the front of social insurance, 
uh, February to June, pension, unemployment, work re injury related insurance, um, the part paid by the employers can be exempted. And uh, in enterprises outside of uh, Hubei province, old age pension and worker injury related uh, insurance paid by employers can be exempted. Enterprises in difficulty can extend their declaration period and uh, there can be some temporary 50% discount for the tax or the relevant uh, contribution. And also in terms of uh, the financial or fiscal policies, some companies can enjoy re-lending policy support and also um, the central state-owned companies can enjoy the re-discount. Also, the financial institutions are encouraged to provide low interest loans, especially to the individual uh, businesses. Furthermore, uh, we are trying to reduce the cost of business. Uh, the, uh, the tariffs or for the uh, electricity or water uh, charges or bills, they can be reduced and or subsidized by the government. For the toll roads during the pandemic, uh, there will be no uh, fee collected for the use of toll and uh, for the SMEs, the uh, contribution from the uh, trade union will be 100% uh, repatriated or returned to the relevant enterprises. So these are the uh, central government policies and uh, lo localities like uh, Shandong, Hubei, and uh, Zhejiang provinces for SMEs, they can be exempted, exempted from the relevant uh, business taxes, and uh, uh, like uh, the environmental or the sewage discharge fee can be exempted in Hangzhou, Changsha, and Nanchang uh, for the purchase of uh, new energy vehicles or the uh, small vehicles, the relevant uh, fees could be exempted. And uh, also localities have uh, distributed the coupons to encourage consumption. These policies are quite extensive and uh, are well targeted to encourage consumption. So they are well received by the enterprises as far as we know. The majority of the enterprises are now enjoying or are applying to enjoy such uh, pre preferential policies. Also, at the same time, some intermediary, intermediaries and uh, companies uh, reported some uh, existing problems, for example, for sectors which are severely affected by the pandemic. They have not been included in the policy coverage. Some companies are not aware of uh, the policy uh, preferences, and uh, they don't know how to apply for such preferred uh, treatment. Also, some uh, companies complained about uh, the high rents uh, for the estate. So for the next step, we will discuss with the relevant stakeholders and uh, uh, facilitate the uh, knowledge or policy sharing and so that more people can be aware of such uh, supporting policies. And uh, we encourage the stakeholders to join hands and uh, reduce the cost for businesses, like uh, the um, rents for the estates. Also, for some uh, neighborhood residence areas, the facilitating measures will be adopted to encourage consumption. OK, let's continue. On the right, on the third row, the first journalist, please. Thank you. 
uh, with uh, China Cooperative uh, Times. Now it's the spring plowing time, and there's a huge demand for the uh, chemical fertilizers. So how about uh, the satisfaction of such needs, especially in Hubei province? Uh, we will have uh, Madam Ma to answer the question. Thank you for your question. Indeed, the Hubei province is a major agricultural province, as well as a major producer of chemical fertilizers. Affected by the pandemic in the early days because of the delayed uh, recovery of production, there were some uh, problems uh, causing difficulties for the market access to chemical fertilizers. Now the situation is improving. The work resumption is uh, accelerated, and uh, the transportation is uh, being accelerated for smooth operation. Now the phosphate fertilizer produced by Hubei province uh, has been accelerated for market access. According to the local data, we can see that the overall agricultural materials are in adequate supply, uh, both provincially and nationally. The agricultural materials companies are supported to increase their procurement and uh, the delivery of the agricultural materials or means of production uh, is uh, facilitated. Up to now, the China co-op uh, system has uh, 27, uh, 200, uh, 27.5 million tons of uh, agricultural means of production um, put in place. and. Uh, uh, also, the All China Federation of uh, Supply and Marketing have uh, committed to provide adequate supply of such uh, means of production to the related uh, agricultural producers. Also, we pay particular attention to make donations to the poverty-stricken counties in Hubei province to support their spring plowing. The co-op uh, system is making every effort to ensure the adequate supply of uh, uh, means of production. Also, we have uh, encouraged the local outlets and the stations to facilitate the smooth flow of such means of production. Uh, our staff uh, directly mobilized to help the farmers and uh, the businesses to get in touch with each other and uh, have these uh, means of production well delivered. So the last mile problem is being addressed, and uh, the co-ops in the local level have uh, conducted um, various measures to facilitate spring plowing. We are making every effort to satisfy the needs of the stakeholders. Thank you. Due to the time constraint, uh, we can only allow two more questions. Please. On the left, on the fourth row, the first reporter in white, please. Thank you. With Xinmin Evening News, affected by the pandemic, the vegetable farmers and the fruit farmers are quite concerned as their products cannot uh, have uh, good access to the market, and this will dampen their enthusiasm of production. So what are the measures that will be taken by the uh, China co-op to address these challenges. We will continue to have Madam Ma to answer the question. Thank you for your questions. Indeed, the two questions are quite similar. One is about uh, the supply of uh, uh, agricultural means of production, and the other is about the sales of such uh, materials. And indeed, uh, they are within our business scope. As you have rightly pointed out, Due to the pandemic, there's uh, some uh, slow market in uh, some parts of the country, and it is our due responsibility to facilitate the market access and uh, provide uh, 
convenient access to the markets and uh, the agricultural means of production. So the co-ops are playing a unique role in this regard. For the stagnant sales, cooperatives at all levels have um, given play to the role of a grassroots level sales outlets. They got the first-hand information of the stagnant sales, and they connect with the uh, com commercial companies. They are also cooperating with the e-commerce platforms, the big vet markets, and all these have uh, been persisting their normal sales up till now. Almost 100 percent of these commerce players have resumed their businesses, and they have helped the selling of agricultural produce. For example, the new cooperative company a member of Kofco has collected from door to door the agricultural produce from the farmers, and they are very welcomed by the farmers. Besides, they are also providing this uh, produce to the citizens. In urban areas, Guangxi, Fujian, Hainan provinces uh, have uh, met uh, difficulties in the selling of uh, agricultural produce. Cooperatives uh, at uh, all these provinces have uh, set up uh, special work groups to deal with the issues. Hainan Provincial Cooperative helped the sales of uh, 20,000 ton of uh, fruits and uh, vegetables and uh, 70,000 tons of uh, agricultural produce were sold and they were sold for the um, poor and vulnerable farming households. 832 poor counties have uh, been connected with the procurement needs of uh, different organizations. An e-commerce platform was set up, which was named as the Poverty Alleviation Agricultural Produce Sales Platform. During the epidemic response, there was some thematic activities established to mitigate the impact on the poor farming households. Thank you. Uh, next question, or the last question of the day, journalist from the third row on the left side, please. Thank you. With uh, CNR of the China Media Group, uh, the 24th March, on the Standing Committee meeting of uh, the State Council, it was emphasized uh, to restore the business of uh, commodity-related businesses. What are the measures adopted by Ministry of Commerce to restore the commodity-related business and uh, the normal commercial order? I'd like to ask DJ Wang Bin to take the question. Thank you for your question. Ministry of Commerce has been collaborating with other departments and local governments to implement the State Council's suggestions to restore the commodity circulation and the commercial orders. We've done five jobs. First, a good deployment we was made by collaborating with the National Health Commission and the NDRC on the precise prevention and control of domestic resurgence and external importation. We've categorized different risk zones and promoted the restoration of uh, com commodity businesses. We've also set up some pilot uh, programs, help the businesses to deal with uh, the impediments. The pedestrian commodity streets have also restored the business to come back to the normal prosperous things. And besides, we've also been collaborating with NDRC, Ministry of Public Security, and dealt with uh, the understaffing issue and uh, the impediments of uh, circulation, the shortage of uh, um, epidemic prevention supplies. We've uh, been collaborating with other departments to um, support uh, the express uh, delivery and e-commerce platform, promote uh, the upstream and downstream enterprises restoration of business and establish platforms to take uh, the calls and needs of uh, the businesses. The business uh, vendors have also enjoyed cuts in their rents and uh, the supply of uh, funding support. 
Second, we have uh, adopted uh, the policies to stabilize the foreign trade and foreign investment. Altogether, 20 policy measures were adopted. We also provided favorable policies to the resumption of uh, business. We have uh, contextualized automobile restriction policies, the replacement of old household appliances and online shopping festivals, the vouchers for or subsidies provided for the shopping online and offline. Besides, we have also deepened our reform by streamlining the compensation procedures, established the quarantine information checking system, guided local governments to provide support to enterprises in the labor employment and uh, the navigation of uh, the visitors and the customers. We've also guided enterprises to make a flexible employment uh, policies to meet uh, the labor needs in this uh, unconventional time. We've uh, also learned the needs of the general public and uh, made analysis into policies to support uh, bulk commodity development, optimized uh, community consumption, and uh, we've adopted policies to encourage the small business development. We've uh, been summarizing good practices in different localities and uh, been popularizing them across the country. In the future, we will continue to have uh, the due emphasis on prevention control of the epidemic and the resumption of business, the risk zone and precise policies will be continued. We will urge low-risk regions to cancel over restrictions, provide convenience to the general public, guide enterprises to adopt uh, uh, categorized and uh, precision policies in creating a safe and very free shopping environment, help businesses to deal with the difficulties in business resumption, nurture new business forms, encourage the setting up of uh, community networks of uh, commodity distribution, and accelerate uh, the restoration of uh, prosperity and uh, morale, market morale. Thank you. Today we have uh, been focusing on the restoration of uh, commodity circulation and uh, normal commercial order. Tomorrow we will focus on the improvement of uh, international freight uh, transportation capacity and uh, the stabilization of international supply chain. We will have a CAAC and uh, other departments to take uh, questions. Tomorrow we will also have uh, physicians and experts uh, from uh, Beijing Pediatric uh, Hospital to give us some um, uh, health tips on the prevention of uh, accidental hurts on the uh, adolescents. With that, we conclude today's conference. Thank you.